fall fishing welcome everybody to the channel i'm matt welcome to uh another beautiful day in eastern north carolina we're out here on the river shore going after channel bass or redfish or drum or whichever name you want to call these beautiful uh, game fish throwing some live bait on uh, carolina rigs this morning and uh seeing what we can work out maybe we'll have some success they've been uh, catching the slots right around this area so uh maybe we'll get dinner if not maybe we'll sneak in an old giant drum and uh maybe get you some good footage on that stay tuned i want to tell you a story there was a guy here fishing and uh he was fishing for these old drums along the river and he wasn't paying attention and his rod doubled over and uh he had a drag set too tight and what it did was the rod hold broke and there went fish fishing line rod the whole shooting match out into the river so one of the things i like to do is make sure your drags are where you can just pull it with two fingers out and that's just enough that you want the fish to run and not take your rod so that's just something that i do uh, some people do it better but uh I mean, I'm fishing with the Dowell 5000 and we're getting hit right here. And uh, it puts on like 22 pounds of drag. Got stripped off. It puts down 22 drip pounds of drag. So uh, when it pulls, it's going to pull and it's a fulcrum and a lever sitting in that rod holder. So you don't want these some of these bigger rod or reels drag tight. Now when you're fighting a fish, you want to go ahead and tighten them up, but I like to let them run a little bit and it also tires them out, makes them easier to reel in. And it's more fun to fight the fish, in my opinion. Now if you notice, you'll notice I got a shorter rod and a longer rod out here. And uh, I'm using my surf rod setups for fishing at the beach. And uh, the reason why I got these out is to be able to cast way far. But right now, today, it seems like we're getting more action right here along this uh, seawall. That's why we kind of brought everything in close. I could have done it better. I could probably on these spot fish be fishing with a trout rod, a 2500, 3000 class reel, and a 7 foot medium action or medium heavy rod. And it can, you know, those don't get them wrong, those uh, little reels. Especially the Dowa BGs, they're they're stout little reels, and uh, you can fight some of these bigger fish. I wouldn't want to, because um, you do, you want to let them run a little while. They only put around uh, the three thousand only puts around like eight pounds of drag, maybe ten at the most. Folks, good morning. Look at beautiful North Carolina. We are hooked up. Yep. I was start casting out. And uh, fishing right here along the beach. Get my scale so I can measure this guy. Looks like feels like another slot. Redfish. Oh yeah. Yeah. There you go. fish this morning man thank you little guy a lot smaller than the ones we've been catching pleasure and pleasure he is 19 and a half curled up on a rock a little bit but he's a legal fish my parents been bugging me for a red fish and there he is pretty pretty guy There's 
is a pretty little slot redfish. He's uh, 19 and a half. Of course, he was curled up on that rock right there. So uh, I'm gonna. My parents have been asking me for redfish. I'm gonna keep this guy harvesting for this. Um, I'm gonna keep fishing. I've only been out here for 20 minutes, and see if there's any more uh, big redfish out here. So we'll keep at it. Unfortunately, guys, that boat just stirred up the bottom. So with that, we're going to head out, take on the day. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. Sorry, uh, the camera got bumped here a minute ago, but uh, we got to run. Take care.